Hello and welcome to The Gloves Are On. I'm joined by Precision Ambassadors, Derry City's goalkeeper, Brian Marr, and Shelburne's goalkeeper, Brendan Clark, um, ahead of Sunday's big extra WE FAI Cup final between Shelburne and Derry uh, at the Aviva Stadium. So, obviously a big week for you both. Um, I'll start off with you, Brian. Um, we're here on behalf of Precision, but um, from a goalkeeper's uh, point of view, Goalkeeper gloves are obviously the designated tool for the job. How long have you worn precision gloves? Um, yeah, as you said, they're obviously a big part of our game, and uh, I'd say I'm probably wearing precision over five years now. So they've been my go-to the last uh, since I can remember. And I'll come to you then, Brendan. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not that long. I'm only this is the the end of my second year now with precision. So uh, I mean, like Brian said, it's 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 the go-to for. Um, I mean, for a lot of goalkeepers in the league, uh, it's very popular amongst professional and and kind of amateur goalkeepers within Ireland. And uh, yeah, no, I've been really happy with, with wearing the gloves the last two years. Mm. And Brian, I'll come to you. Uh, what is it about uh, precision gloves that stand out, in your opinion? Um, to me, it's just probably the comfort of them, and you know, I think they just they just don't let you down. Um, you know, I've been wearing them that long that um, they haven't let me down. So. Uh, very happy with them and you know there's kind of in my opinion there's gloves for for most keepers whether they you know different cuts different colors and you know whatever weather they, they seem to hold up really well so for me uh, they've been the, the obvious choice for me Brendan I'll, I'll give you the same question yeah look I was uh, I think Brexit uh, forced my hand on moving a uh, glove manufacturer from a, a pretty big pretty big um, glove brand and to be fair, I ha it, the transition's been been seamless uh, in terms of comfort and quality, and um, the guys at Radon can't do enough for you. Um, it, it, you know, if if you're stuck or you need an order, it's 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 boxed off as soon as possible, and you know they understand that it's driven. What it's basically it's it's driven by players and, and, and what goalkeepers want, and and uh, yeah, kind of what we what we need and what we want. You know, they'll they'll do everything they can to to make it work. Right. Um, are there any new models of precision gloves um, that you you're looking forward to wearing in twenty twenty three? Yeah, I'm. I've been looking forward now for a while to uh, to wear the new range of the Fusion X that I wear. So, I think there's a new range coming in in twenty twenty three, which I'll be hopefully getting to wear uh, early next year, and you know, see what they like because um, they'd be my my favorite model that I've been wearing pretty much my whole time with precision. And uh, Brendan, I suppose. Yeah, I know you're a man who who likes new gloves and new boots. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm similar to Brian in terms of the uh, the, the the glove model. It's the Fusion next for me. Um, I kind of chop and change between the the, the quartz and the the negative cut. Um, and again, precision have been great. They've they've kind of done me a, a glove with. Uh, they've kind of mixed two gloves together for me. Um, I like a certain latex on on the gloves on the palm, so uh, they were quick enough to get that made for me, and yeah, been really really happy with. It. Yeah, um, well, Precision is available pretty much in uh, most outlets, uh, sports stores, so you can check them out there. Let's talk about the, the route to the final. Brian, uh, Brian, I'll start with you first. Uh, Derry City, 7-0 uh, win over Oliver Bond in the first round, a 2-0 win over Cork City in the second round, a 3-1 win against uh, league champions Shamrock Rovers, um, and then a 2-1 win over 3 United in the semi-final. So talk us through the route to the final for yourselves. Yeah, so... I think we've had uh, every game at home as well, which was a real boost for us because uh, of how good the fans have been for us this year. But, you know, as you said, we started off with a pretty comprehensive win against non-league side. And, and you know, and then we've we've gone and beaten, the, you know, the champions of both leagues in, in the country. So that was very pleasing. And I think especially the Shamrock Rovers one was, you know, I think a lot of people were, were putting that as, as the biggest game in the cup this year and, and we came out the right side of it. I think, uh, you know, after extra time it was a, a very difficult game as it always is against Rovers and and yeah, and as you said then uh, the semi final win against Treaty was the atmosphere and everything in the you know, the whole week in, in Derry was unbelievable. So um yeah, we're just delighted to be here and you know, to give our fans the big day out that they deserve. So, um, you know, as we as I know he'll be saying as well, hopefully we can go one better. Yeah, it, it seems to be, you know, there's a lot of excitement up in Derry and there's been a, a whole kind of new squad basically put together this season. Uh, you seem to have gelled quite well, obviously that's shown now between the, 
to uh, finish in the league um, and now obviously being in the cup final. Yeah, yeah, as you said, like it's a it's pretty much a new squad, you know, there's plenty of new boys, you know, a lot of young players in the squad as well, mixed in with the experiences of, you know, boys who have been there and done it. So, um yeah, I think all in all we've had a, a decent season and, you know, I think it's the best league finish the club has had in sixteen years and then to put a cup final on top of it is is brilliant and as you said, there's there's a real excitement around the place and, you know, there'll be the city's gonna empty on Sunday and they'll all be coming to Dublin so hopefully we can give them a result to, you know, make their day. Mm, obviously you don't want that to happen, Brendan, but I'll talk about the uh, Shelburne's route to the final. Uh three nil um away win um then you had the four nil away win again against Bonaghy United. Uh, you had a three nil win over Bowes in Tolka and a one nil away win against uh, an informed Waterford side. How yeah, was that route for you? It's uh no, it's been tricky enough. Um obviously starting with Bray away out in the Carlisle, really professional performance, um again up to Bonaghy. People might have might have seen that as a write off, um kind of an easy tie, but you know, we had to prepare as as if it was Shannock Rovers or Derry, um, and we did. We showed them the respect they deserve, and um, yeah, we, we came out on top of that. And then again, big Dublin derby against Bowes. We we kind of we hadn't we hadn't beaten them this year. Psychologically, how big was was that win against Bowes? Because there was a couple of games against Bowes that Shells had struggled early on in the season. Yeah, it was. It was a big game uh, and, and a big result for us as a group um, to kind of show that. Look, you know we're here. We we deserve to be here. Um, like you said, we hadn't we hadn't beaten them all year. Games we probably should have won as well. Um, but to go and do that so comprehensively and and um, especially at home and talk because that's that's the only game we've we've had at home in, in the cup run. Um, we know that was a big game in terms of kind of laying down a marker. Um, for for kind of the aspirations that we have for for, for the cup run. And, Obviously, then you say we, we go to Waterford, really hostile place. We've only got 350, 400 fans in the ground. Of I think I think there was four and a half thousand there, and and uh, yeah, another another really good professional performance. Um, managed to score a good goal early on, and and then um, just saw the game out really professionally. And uh, yeah, now delighted to be in the final, and and yeah, it's something we'll have a right crack off winning on, on Sunday. I think the Shells fans were quite impressed, as you say, of, of how professional performance it was, considering how well Waterford have been doing. You know, they're going to be in the um, playoff final now on Friday night as well. They're a the top side, uh, and again, we show them, you know, the respect that they deserve. Um, we've done all the due diligence in terms of players, patterns, um, threats. But then again, on the flip side, you you kind of have to look at their weaknesses and. And where you, where you can exploit them, and I think we did that pretty well, um, especially in the first half down there, um, in what was tricky conditions, kind of big open stadium, and the weather wasn't great, I suppose. But they're the games you kind of have to dig in, and and it's the result is king in, in cup competitions. Mm, definitely, uh, Brian. I'll come back to you, and you know, um, what could a a cup win do for Derry City? I remember Shamrock Rovers a few years ago um, went on dock for kind of the the team to chase Shamrock Rovers won the FAI Cup and then from then on kind of went on then it gave them the confidence to go and win the league what's the kind of um, thoughts around that do you feel like a cup win there could could kick the uh, club on yeah absolutely um, as you said when you know when Dundalk were winning everything and, and Rovers were trying to put it up to them the first thing they did was, was beat them in the cup final and you know I think a lot of people in Rovers will speak about that as being the stepping stone and the driver of of what came after, you know, they've just won the, the third league in a row, and you know, up until maybe ten days ago, we were right in the middle of a title race. So, um, yeah, as you said, look, um, I think to win the cup could be could be huge for us. You know, just a bit of momentum. I think winning becomes a habit. So, um, I think the first win is always the most difficult one as well. So, yeah, as you said, it could be it could be hopefully the start of um, you know more success. But we're not thinking about that at the minute because we just want to get as you said, the first one over the line, but yeah, it could be really important for us. Mm. And Brendan, um, from a Shelburne point of view, you know, uh, just came up last season from promotion, secured status in, in the Premier Division, which was obviously key as well, but what could a, you know, a cup win European football do for Shelburne and Damien Duff's first season in charge? <sighs> yeah, look, it'd be massive for the club, I suppose, looking financially, um, as, as well as kind of being a draw for players to, to come into a successful team. Um, 
but again we're probably a little bit different to Derry that you know our remit kind of the, the job at the start of the year was to kind of secure Premier Division status for next year um, which we were lucky enough to do kind of pretty well quickly enough with a few games to go um, but we said as a group of players at the start of the year in, in one of our team meetings that a, good, a really good cup run was wasn't within was was within our reach, you know. Like, and I suppose every club in, in the country will say that as well, because it's only four wins to get to uh, to get to the final. So, yeah, it, it, it's one of the markers we lay down as a group of players, as a staff, as a team, as a group to uh, to go and do. And you know, fingers crossed on Sunday we can go and do it. Mm. Brian, I'll bring it back over to you now again. Um, just in terms of you know your squad, you've a lot of players there who have won the FAI Cup and won leagues and stuff like that uh, through Dundalk. Um, how key will that be going into this? You know they've experienced the day at the Aviva, maybe mm-hmm. a bit more so than Charles, but I'll come to that. Yeah, it could be huge for us, you know. But it's it's not just Sunday; it's been all season. The boys that have been there and done it, and I think even in the summer with the likes of you know Mark Connolly coming in was was another huge personality for the dressing room. And yeah, as you said, I think I could be wrong in saying, but I think it's Patrick McKenney's seventh cup final or something near that. So um, look, he's he's our captain and he's unbelievable around the place and he'll know what to say when to say it all week and you know we're just trying to keep calm heads and we're treating it like any other game you know we do all our work in the week and um, yeah and then I think there's other boys I think Danny Lefty might have won over Rovers as well so another good voice in the dressing room to you know help us through the week especially us young lads going into our first cup final. Mm. From a young lad point of view how would you be leaning on you know the older players for, for this type of game? To be honest you just you know you just kind of you just follow what they're doing and you know take in any advice they give you and you know they know the way and um you know they're top professionals and and you know it kind of it's across the board the standards all over the rest of the room so um yeah as i said though nothing should change this week it's it's just another game for us and it's just you know maybe for the outside looking in it's a much bigger game in the aviva and trophy at stake but um We'll try not to get too ahead of ourselves and treat it like any other league game or cup game. Hmm. Brendan, um, it, it's probably the reverse for you. I'd imagine a lot of the younger lads are going to be leaning on you for experience, you know, because um, in, in terms of the, the shells, but there's not too many um, experienced lads. There's probably yourself and Lukey Byrne um, that I can think of off the top of my head that would be the most experienced of the two lads there in the, in the squad. A lot of young lads there. Um, you know, what's, what's the kind of feeling going into the game? Yeah, look like you said, it's it's a very young squad, and look, I've been I've been lucky enough to have been involved in in, in a couple of finals over the years, and um, it's myself, Shane Griffin. Uh, Shane obviously, Griffin, yeah. he's he's been quite successful in, in the cup, and obviously we, we've got Maddie Smith, um, who who's won it last year as well, like with Griff. So, um, you know, unbelievably lucky to to have been involved in. Yeah, and even you know you you do have someone like Damien Duff who you know everyone knows what he's achieved in the game in terms of playing for Ireland and at club level as well then you've got Joey O'Brien as well who would have done well in the cup as well with Shamrock Rovers too Absolutely I mean the managers you know we as a country we don't produce many world class players um, but he, he's probably he probably fits into that bracket you know from from his playing career point of view um, he's played in many many uh, top occasions so He'll know what to expect. Joey as well has played in, in at the top level, and we've got Alan Quinn as well in in the in the, squ- in the staff. Dave McAllister has done it in the FAI Cup and played in big games, and Paul Skinner as well has been involved in, in cup finals. So again, players can go, players can go and speak, and they'll be they'll be quick to pass on the knowledge and stuff. So yeah, yeah. There's so many kind of a crossover here. Obviously, used to know each other. You know, Rory Higgins and Damien Duff. They would have worked together under Stephen Kenny at Ireland as well but there's so much kind of going into it but just in terms of uh, you know the crowd there's a huge crowd expected um, he's hoping for a classic or a penalty shootout or what, what would you like to win it in 90 minutes with a clean sheet what, come to you Brian and, and get your um, opinion first yeah um, I don't really mind what way if, if you win it you wouldn't really care what way it is but um, I've grown up going to cup finals, you know, either with my mum and dad and stuff, and, you know, as a little kid, you want to play in it, and then sort of you're watching it the last few years, and you're a little bit envious of players playing, and you're, you're just wondering if you'll ever get that chance. So um, to win it, you wouldn't really care what way it, it happens, and, you know, I think I went through a few years ago in the games, and it was nearly extra time every year. So, uh, yeah, you don't know what to expect, but, um, yeah, as I said, it doesn't matter what way you do it, as long as you do, I think that's... You know, form and all goes out the window before them sort of games. It's 
it's just about winning on the day. Mm. In your opinion, is a is a clean sheet uh, as important as say a, a, a winning penalty save? Yeah, yeah, I think so because um, you know a clean sheet gives you a real a real chance of winning the game. I think um, you know it's it's probably the basis to try and win any game as a clean sheet. So if we could achieve that on Sunday, then I think we had we'd have obviously a good chance of winning the game. Mm. Brendan, I suppose I'll, I'll ask you the same question. Um, starting off with you know. How would you how would you like to win it if you were to win it? I honestly wouldn't care. Um, the cup finals are all about winning. Um, I don't think uh, if you ask any Shells fan, I, I don't think they'd care how we play or who plays well. Once once we're bringing that that trophy back to Drumcondra, um, I'd I'd rather win a game five four with you know the four goals being being my fault than let's say draw nil all or whatever blue was on penalties and, and have a man of the match performance. It's at this stage, it's all about winning, and and as a group, that's what you know. That's what we're looking at. Mm. I suppose, as bad as it sounds, nobody really remembers the losers, do they? Not at all. No. We both just probably accept that. Um, but listen, uh, that's it. I want to wish you both the best of luck on Sunday, and may the best you. team win. You may shake hands if you like, or you may not. It's up to you. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks very you. much.